Hi, I want to look at finding the area and perimeter of complex polygons. So a complex polygon or shape. Okay, um, so if you want to draw this number one figure here, we're going to draw a rectangle with a quarter of a circle attached to it. And to find, let's just start with perimeter, how we would find the perimeter of that. So if you want to pause this to make that shape, that's fine. And then um, to find the perimeter, we need to find the unknowns, okay? And perimeter on a circle is called circumference, right? So we need to find all the missing pieces of this. So this would be a missing piece. This says 12.1, 10.3. Now this piece here is parallel to this piece here. So they're going to be the same length. So I can fill that in with an 11.5. Down here I have 22.2. All right, now we got to find this section, which is a quarter of a circle over here, a quarter of the circumference. And if you remember, let's go off to the side, a quarter of the circumference. So one fourth of, of means times, and circumference is two times pi times the radius, right? So we have one fourth, whoops, sorry. One fourth times two. We'll use uh, 3.14 for pi. And the radius of that circle, if we go back up here and look, was 12.1. Um, 12.1. Let me grab my calculator. I didn't have that out, sorry. And we'll type that in to see what we get. We have one fourth times. 2 times 3.14 times 12.1 equals, and you get 18.997. So we can say that that's probably 19. It's approximately, so I'll use my little wavy signs there. It's approximately 19. So if I go back and label that, this is 19 inches because it's a fourth of the circle, right? That's why we used one fourth back here, one fourth of the circle. Now to find the perimeter of the complex shape or composite, sometimes they call them composite. Composite means that they just make up, made up of other things. So composite or complex polygon, okay? So to find the perimeter of the whole thing, we're going to add up all of those numbers that we have, right? We want to add up the 19 with the 12.1, 10.3, 11.5, 22.2, and another 11.5. So let's add that up and see what we get. Again, you can pause the video if you want, but I'm adding right now. You can hear my fingers clicking. Okay, so I think I got them all. I may have not, I may have missed something. But I got 86.6 for the inches for the perimeter of that shape, perimeter of that shape. We're going to pause, do another video for the area of that shape. 